Last question I have for you, and you kind of talk about it at the very end of the book. And, and um, you know, there was a circumstance where you had to take a big corporation to uh, on, on a legal journey. I guess is the best way to put it uh, to do this. Um, you know, lesson learned. What would you tell anyone if they go down that path of seeing that someone's actually you know breached their patent or whatever, or or you know is is going down that legal path? What would you suggest to someone? Yeah, I, 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 I sued in federal court, San Francisco federal court, a little, uh, a little toy company, uh, Legos. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what was I thinking? Yeah. Um, I had made samples for them. They signed an NDA, had all these patents, and, and they worked around me is what they did. And that's why this book, I think, is really important. I talk about how to stop what just happened. Yes. Um, it, it really stops workarounds, perceived ownership to get people to, to pay you. And what happens, they, they worked around it. They were very clever. They had some really good engineers. They saw my patents. They figured out another way to do it. That's fair game. That's fair. Yep. So, but um, what happened was there's a couple words that they could not get around. And those are, those are words of, uh, that's very important when you do file a, a patent or even consider your idea of what are workarounds. How would some try to, I tell everybody, try to steal it from yourself mm-hmm. and put that information in your patent. And that's what happened. So sure enough, we went to federal court. We settled two weeks before it went to trial after three years. So here's the advice I give to everybody. It's very, very simple. Number one, um, really look at how much damage, it, how, how is it really damaging you in terms of dollars? Very, very important. It costs about a million and a half dollars to take someone to court. Hmm. So it's not for everybody. Yeah. Um, so how are they really damaging you? And if they are damaging you, you know, look at that option. Don't become, don't let it become a personal thing. It's very hard. It's going to become personal. But stop that. Do not do that. It's business. Try to work it out. Right? Try to get them the license. And, and most of the times when this happens, companies do license up. Mm-hmm. So... But, but in this case, it didn't. It got personal. I got, I got a little emotional. It came back to bite me in the end. I learned that. So, so don't do that. Um, protect yourself. Uh, uh, try to steal it from yourself. Use that information in your provisional patent application. Be calm. And, and another thing, too. If, someone, if that happens to you, you should probably congratulate yourself. Absolutely. Because you're, you're selling a lot of product. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it doesn't happen to everybody. So if someone's going to work around you, you're doing something right. That's excellent advice. 